Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect, a game where we are about to spend 20 grand and have the game lag out for a little while and there's some more land. So in the previous episode we were focusing on getting some more prisoners, we finished off the dormitory here, we added an infirmary because naturally we had a bit of a problem when it comes to um, people who could potentially overdose and we have no way to treat them. Speaking of that I should probably go over to programs and set a pharmacological treatment to drug addiction on there as well. Um, we obviously were training people up. You can see we've got two people interested in that workshop safety induction. Even though they were working there it wasn't showing there but it has updated so that's fine. Um, I could probably add some more people for the kitchen safety. We might as well. But overall we are getting people coming through the facility. We're doing a lot of training. We've got a lot of people um, coming through for, um, for you know, white-collar crime and things that you would hopefully think is uh, not um, really, uh, well, aggressive in any manner. So, yeah, false accounting, counterfeiting currency, uh, voyeurism, okay. Uh, gross and decency, right, it's getting worse. Insider trading, um, for fraud, forgery, uh, money laundering, you get the idea. It's not like triple homicide or anything like that. Um, so, but you can get that. Actually, there is, there is, um, an event that will give you uh, like a high classification of prisoner because there's been like uh, there's been a mix up essentially, and I really hope that doesn't happen. But anyway, I digress. So overall, I reckon once we get this uh, prison grading done, which is only one more prisoner. Oh, there you go. Um, we're gonna have to see what it's like, and it's not too bad. Reoffending rate is surprisingly high on 26%. I am going to go ahead and um, reduce our parole to um, I think 20%. That's normally what I keep it on. Um, in terms of our prison value, just over a quarter of a million. Uh, we have punishment 5, which is middle ground, that's fine. Reform is lower than I would have expected. However, security and health are, are positive, so that's good. Um, overall, paroled early, 8, 25% reoffended, which we would expect with the... Uh, with the original setting. But anyway, so we've now bought this land here. What we need to focus on then is a couple of things. We need to plan off what we're going to do and we then need to build all of it. So I'm going to go dismantle object and we'll get rid of all of these trees and then we will go ahead and start planning this. So we're going to go for planning and walls. We will increase this wall to go along there and along there and then down to there. This will all be removed uh, but we will have this going along like so. So it comes along to there. And then, um, oh, actually, no, it's only, a, it's only a one walkway there, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. So that's how that comes down. In terms of this section here, we will go ahead and add probably a fairly large building. Um, I'm thinking of adding um, a big building so that we can... I think I'm a, a big building so that we can have probably things like, well, a common room, certainly. Uh, cl common room, classroom, and library? No. Uh, chapel is probably the three things that we need. Uh, speaking of needs, we haven't actually looked at them in a while. Uh, yeah, what a surprise. Spirituality, literature, and luxuries are the high one because we don't have a shop, we don't have a library, and we don't have a chapel, so we do need that. Privacy need is in the high levels. It'll always be in the high levels because we don't have anything else, else than dormitory. Um, in terms of informants, we still have this person getting targeted, and also, see that? That's been some arranged there. I don't even know how we know this. Unless that snitch is uh, silently telling us things. But we don't even have a common room. <laughs> Sorry, or a security room to to uh, let us know about this. Anyway, let's go to planning and walls. And we're going to focus on these buildings here. So these buildings, just to remind ourselves, are a 16 by 22. So if we wanted to go for 16 by 22, we could do that. And then another one in there. And then we've got this gap on that side which I am totally fine with however what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that from here you see we've got two next to each other then the gap of one so sorry, sorry we've got uh, one there gap of one one there gap of two and then back to gap of one so I'll make sure that when they're grouped in twos like this we always have a, an extra gap so one two so it'll start from there 16 by ooh, by a bit too big um, so there's a gap of two there. So we've got these grouped as one, those grouped as one, and then we've got a gap there. And this one will be uh, grouped as that. And then we've still got this extra section here, which I was very tempted to do this because that can be our um, that can be our solitary on the side. So that sort of works out, doesn't it? It sort of works out. On the back, we are going to once again have the same sort of thing. Um, the difference is that this one here, we don't have any 
real purpose for that. Um, for that building, if that is one. Oh, it looks like we have got an overdose there. Um, so, to do, store prisoner in medical bed. Store prisoner. Okay. Um, take prisoner to medical bed, I would have assumed, but hey-ho. Um, we could, if we wanted to, um, retrofit this. Now, originally, the idea is that we have a total of 12 of each machine. Um, but then we decided to put this carpentry table in. Now, I think what we could do, instead of having a carpentry table in every single workshop... We could probably have this extended like so and have the top and bottom ones not solely workshop. I don't think that would be, sorry, not solely um, carpentry tables, but probably focused a bit more on it. I think that would be, I don't think it would be an unwise decision, but we'll have to see how we get on. Just going to double check the centres, that's fine. Centres are still in there. And... This is where we've got a big open area here. Now, I could build a huge building straight across. Could. Probably are not going to. What I am going to do is have a gap here of... Um, do you want it as a gap of one? I wanted at least a way for the guards to come in and around. Because otherwise, if this kicks off, they're going to have to go all the way around. And that's not really that convenient. We could do that and have this as some fairly large buildings. I just think it's probably a bit overkill. In terms of this big space in the centre, haven't yet decided. We could have a yard. That is a possibility. The other option is we don't have these buildings as long. Because quite frankly we don't need it as long. Uh, I think size 12 internal is more than acceptable, considering that, I don't know, say 12 by 12, right? There you go. So there's your chapel. There's your um, chapel, common room, and what would the other one be? Chapel, common room, and classroom. Those three. Infirmary was going to go down here, anyway. Although, it would be beneficial to probably move it over now. Um, right, so if we say... Chapel's going to be the biggest one in it, because we need... It's under pew. Pews, it is under pew. We'll probably have a double row with a gap in the middle. So that'd go there. So is it four? It is four. I mean, is it four? It is four. So we'd have four, four. And there you are. So it'll be something like that. And we'd have those all the way along. Um, altar. And then you could have your prayer mats in here as well. Something like that. Anyway, uh, the next one, we need probably classroom. Which, to be fair, could have like that. Just a big row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Teacher table desk thing. Job done. Yeah. And then infirmary morgue. Nah, it's not gonna fit. So. What we could do, have infirmary in there, if we really wanted to. Let's have a try. So bed's along there. Bed's along there. Quite a small infirmary, I'm aware, but it could fit in. Um, we don't have an area for... Um, we don't have an office like that. That office would be good for the psychological stuff. And then we could have like a small common room back there. And that common room would be mainly for... It would mainly just be a seating area with a, with a TV in it and such. And that will be for where we do the... Um, not behavioural therapy. Because behavioural therapy is done in the office of the... Um, 
the psychologist, but the alcoholic scoop therapy would need to be in there. And that's a small common room. And then, when we expand down the bottom, that's where we place the bigger common room. Because the other rooms that we need can easily go down there. I mean, another option, which I was going to suggest, is uh, we will have a walkway of two all the way around here. But, what we could do is have this closed off, like so. And all of that will become a forest. Forestry. It is a possibility. It is a possibility. But I don't really need to know what that room is now. What I do need to do is build the rest of this. So fence and expand. The main thing we need to get down is... The only thing we need to get down are yeah, these buildings at the back. And I think we're pretty much sorted for that. Chill door there, chill door there. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, the only downside is we don't have security, we don't have other stuff, and maybe that would be beneficial. But the sizing for these rooms is correct. So I don't really know what else we would put in. Unless we decided to front load all of this or have this as we could we could pretty much split this up. This is just a rough test. Into multiple rooms, something like that, and have um, like a shop, a library, um, all of the all of the typical stuff. We could have that in here, um, and then when we go down the bottom, when we expand to that, then we have a massive um, a massive workshoppy type stuff, uh, and and sort of. Uh, oh, do we want to do that? I don't see why not. Yeah, we could expand and have a bigger workshop, or probably forestry. Realistically. Okay. Well, we'll see how we get on. Um, you can see that the workers are going ahead and building all of this. Our focus really is, is on these buildings. Once those buildings are up and running, we know that we've got at least these um, sort of done. We do need a better common room. Um, I think, realistically, having common room there and a common room there is the way to go. Um... I'm just very aware that there's a lot of buildings that we need to fit in down here, um, so it's not going to be a symmetrical prison. It's not going to be symmetric. Uh, it's not going to have full symmetry going for it. But anyway, not that we really care too much about that at this point. Right. Um, I am going to do a shakedown because it's always useful, uh, even though it's quite l late in the day to be doing it. Well, late in the night, I guess. Uh, we're going to go for cell block C because that gives us a 10 grand advance payment there. Um, 313 places in total to search, but we do have a lot of guards. Um, you can see they are searching different things. Oh, we've actually got a, lo a set of logs coming here. I'm still of the opinion that you should set workshop to do one thing or the other. Um, but it's not uh, not a deal breaker, is it? Not a game breaker. Um, it looks like they are... Oh, I should have placed a, a fence along here. That should have been a fence. Um, and once that is done, we will get rid of... All of this fence and all of that fence, and then we can still have that to be so well, still be set to our usual stuff. Um, yard will probably have to be increased actually, so we'll probably have to add a bit more yard in here. It'll all depend on the amount of prisoners that we have, which we still I still haven't um, fully worked out. Well, we can we can have a rough workout now. So we've got 56. Let's just call it 50. So we know that we're going to get at least another hundred. Oh, so it's another. So we'll go up from 50 to 112. About 160. About 200 odd prisoners. No more, more than that. Yeah, about yeah, 220. Something like that. Um, which we can't fully. I don't think we can fully get in there. But it's not too far off. Visitation is about the right size. These aren't the right size. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Um, okay, right. So I'm going to... What I'm going to do is... Walls and doors. Ooh, it's not in there. Where is it? Where's remove of that? Uh, demolish walls. It's in there. Down there now. So I'm going to demolish that wall. 
and demolish that wall just so we can get around because at the moment you see there's a lot of stuff they can't get to the removal of those means that uh, they can now can get to it and finish off the building. That's going to make this not staff only anymore, but it doesn't really matter because it's only a temporary thing and it's not uh, a prisoner focused um, change. So we're fine there. So as long as they get that done, which they now have, we'll then be able to reassign some stuff. Right. Demolish walls. That. And that. Dismantle that. Dismantle that. And we should be able to set that back to staff only. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. So, um, <laughs> don't know if you noticed what just happened there. Um, yeah, so that's now pretty much set correctly. Um, people are coming along here. And because that is technically the fastest route along, because um, it always goes from point to point, ignores it, it it goes right jail door yeah look um they came along and opened that door and then went through it rather than just going around <laughs> oh good grief anyway so um the majority of that is now removed we will have to redo some of the flooring and such i've been flooring i didn't put any around here so i want to do that um for this building i think we will use don't think marble or cargo. I don't think any of these is... I think fancy tiles is probably the best way forward. Um, but we will use concrete tiles running along. And this one, we will use an iron floor. Just to be a bit different there. With the concrete tiling along there. And there we are. First time for a long time that we've put the flooring in very early in the series. Happy it's done, though. Let's just double-check our uh, prison grading. Reoffending rate's gone down from 26 to 22. That's probably just because of the reduction in uh, parole. Punishment 5, reform 4. I would have liked on oh, security up to 2. So security's increased by 1, I think. Health's gone down by 1. Reform has gone uh, nowhere, I think. But either way, um, I think it would be some benefit for us to... Uh, increase that somehow but let's get this building in first this is going to be where we've got our um rooms that we've planned out so let's go for uh, probably just a door there's, there's no reason to place anything other than just a standard door on these um because they can get access at any point anyway so we'll just place them in like so i think that'll be about right okay so once that's built, we'll go ahead and build the chapel. We'll get that'll increase reform. Um, I think. I think. So some prisoners are religious or have a general need for some spirituality in their life. Uh, bring in a spiritual leader from the local community to lead them through prayers and instill a sense of calm amongst your prisoners. So tunnel. Found a tunnel. There it is. The first tunnel that we've found, and it's quite a long one. Remember, we have dog patrols around here, and they've just managed to sneak around. There you are. So they're now heading out. Um, they will be naturally starting to uh, fight their way out. It won't take long for them to be persuaded of their error. Um, I'll go over to, where is it? Remove tunnels and remove all of that. We will prioritize the removal of that. But there's our first tunnel. The very first tunnel of many, I assume. <laughs> I think we'll uh, find quite a number of them. What was concerning is they got to there before being found. <laughs> and I think it's to do with the patrol routes. So what I'm going to do is cancel those like that the reason for that is if we do that and that eventually i mean even though this is open eventually they'll have to come down along anyway and the dog will be the dog although won't walk around there it will sniff it on these corners i think that's okay because the other one will be the same it'll be that there is technically a gap but I 
don't think it's enough for me to be concerned about. What was concerning is that it got to there, as I said. And I think it's to do with how we've placed these. But it was automatically detected because we do have that uh, that trait from our Warden. The Warden, if we look, is Periwinkle, I believe. Let's see if I can find Periwinkle. There you go. JW Periwinkle. Guard dogs have a 50% chance of fully uncovering any tunnels they detect, which is exactly what happened there. Right, so um, you can see this building is now in. I will go ahead and uh, connect it to the grid. The grid which once again we will have to overhaul at some point but we'll see how we get on um, and we will start placing some brick walls in there um, I don't think we need to place anything else like white walls or anything like that perimeter wall would be nice I would like a perimeter wall but it's very expensive although we do have the cash so maybe it's maybe it's something we should think about building so this is where we've got all of the other rooms that we've mentioned. Let's go over to this and start designating things. So we've got chapel. We've got uh, classroom. We have infirmary. Ah, oh, we don't have a morgue. Darn it, I forgot to build a morgue. Um, okay. You technically don't need a morgue on site. Morgue just holds the bodies into uh, things. The, the hearses turn up and I think they turn up immediately anyway. So I'm not going to put one in. I'm not going to worry about it. If we need to put one in, I can retrofit it. It's fine. Uh, that's an infirmary. Well, it shouldn't be an infirmary. That should be an infirmary. Um, we want an office here, but I'm probably just going to use the quick build. Um, quick build office, which... Will it build over? I think it will. Cancel. Cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. Quick build works differently now, doesn't it? Uh, quick build. Cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay. That's, I'm um, going to change things. It's just going to overhaul stuff. <laughs> um. I have no idea what's going on here. Is that doubled down on the staff door? <laughs> I think I might have done. Um. That's a problem. Right. Let's wait for them to crack on with it. There we go. There's the office. And I've removed that door. Because that door is going to be a, um, a standard one anyway. That does mean the stuff can be stolen from that office. Like luxuries and such. But I don't really care too much. I don't think we need to be concerned too greatly on that one. So a medical bed. Rotate around. All the way to there. Same on the other side. I should have removed the other one, shouldn't I? Before buying them. Okay. Because we've still got some medical beds in here. Um, I'll have to dismantle all of these. Dismantle. 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 Oh yes. Um, following prisoners is now a lot easier as well. You can, uh, I believe, double click on them. Hang on. Let's see. There you go. Double click on them. And uh, your camera follows them. Yeah. That's part of the clink update. Not a bad update. I'm glad... Um, I think the extra rotation stuff was just... That was a nice touch. Um, I mean, it's been a niggling problem for quite a number of years. Um, looks like that person is being escorted to that infirmary, which currently doesn't have anybody working there, so I will very quickly get rid of that infirmary and make sure that those, uh, those head up. And in fact, what I'm going to do is hire some more staff because, quite frankly, I do not want that person to die. There we go. So anyway, then I are heading out. So... Uh, we've got that sorted there. We have a we have a need for a walkway. Obviously, all of this here it's going to be retrofitted. We'll probably expand the yard to go up along to there and do other such things. But we are really focusing on things like getting this chapel up and running first. So, of the chapel, we do need an altar. Which uh, how is there a rotation set? Don't think there is, but that can go in there. Pews will go in like so. We could we could double stack them, um, but I think we'll have some gaps. I mean, you can just put them right next to each other and really budge it in. Or not. Prayer mats in there. And there we are. Mm, could have some prayer mats there as well. Actually, let's just line the whole front with prayer mat. <laughs> Who needs carpet? Right, classroom. School desks, similar sort of deal. Just line the area with them. 
and office desk to go in there and then that's in there as well that office will become the psychologists <laughs> there we go and now we're gonna head up there um, in terms of staff only and patrols let's have a look staff only is correctly set now it's correctly set there um, dog patrols we do need to alter so that's going to be removed. We still have three patrols around the back. Probably a bit overkill. We just have one, two. Although, we are going all the way at the top now, aren't we? So maybe one, two, three, four is fine for the distance that they're going to be travelling. Um don't think we need to search that bit on the right there. Actually, did that go? Yeah, there is a double walker. I thought there was. We got one person there. I think that's fine. Right, so we've got the patrols in. We will require some more dog handlers. I don't know why I put them in the chapel. <laughs> did in. So that means now that we can uh, fire up some more programs. We're going to go for... Um, pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. We've already had one person pass. Foundation education program. Um, alcoholics group therapy. Spiritual guidance. And there we go. Not bad at all. 50% passed on that. On the carpentry apprenticeship. Look at that. So we've got one interested slash qualified. Which is good. Um, nothing for workshops. Oh, we've got six passed for the workshop. So... That's good as well. Right, so we've managed to get chapel, classroom, um, and the infirmary now put in. Not the common room. We haven't done that yet, but we'll get there eventually. Let's go over to flooring, and we'll get our flooring placed around here, like so. I'm also going to go ahead. Place some large jail doors in some of these areas. Um, like that. And that should be it. Excellent. Right. Good progress. Uh, chapel is up and running. Um, I'm going to see if anyone goes in there in a moment. Let me just double check the grading. I would expect it to have dropped. Yeah, the reoffending rate has dropped now to 19%. Punishment, reform, security and health are the same. Um, with the addition of this chapel, looks like someone's just gone in there. Uh, with the addition of the chapel, as well as the classroom and the programs that we're running, I expect reform to go up a lot higher than it currently is, which is good. Um... I'm just... There's a cleaning gang coming in there to <laughs> clean up everything there. Um, I'm expecting this to rise sharply. Reform. If we can get to 7 or 8, that would be brilliant. Um, how many prisoners have actually come through anyway? 17 prisoners have been released in total. 11 uh, paroled, only 18% reoffending rate. Which is excellent. So, I think we will leave it there. There's our land expansion. I think it's uh I think we've done alright there. Main concern is will we have enough space on the expansion to the south? Also do we want to implement what I mentioned about here where it comes to the uh, the workshop or should the workshop have this extra section on it and have more of the campus tables in there or even be full carpenter tables? Will this become solitary? What will all this thing become here? All these questions still not answered. Don't need them answered at the moment, but certainly would like your opinion on them. What do you think we should do? Whether we should add more... Have that as forestry? It's possible. The plan for forestry was always to go on the left and have a huge forestry area. Um, realistically, with the prisons that we have and the amount of people that are working, that's starting to backfire a bit. But we've only got one workshop, so we should probably maybe think about adding some more, but we'll see... How we go. What do you think we should do in terms of the buildings that I mentioned and sort of progressing on and uh, here forward? We got enough money to do pretty much whatever we want. We got seventy eight grand. Easily to get, easily get some more. We can just build another building, uh, another dormitory, get more prisoners in. Not only that, we'll smash through a grant. 
we'll also uh, yeah we'll probably just build these two in situ and just get another get that cell block C grant done. There's a uh, twenty grand in our pocket plus the intake plus the daily cash flow. Yeah, it'll be uh, all right regardless. So either way, let me know what you think, and we will go from there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.